Hey everyone, let us understand the flow of how a docker image and a docker container is created. Let's take a simple example of writing a docker file. So the name of our file is docker file and let's write the command. So the first command is from. From indicates our base image. So we'll be taking the base image as nginx and I want the latest nginx image. So I'll give a tag as latest. So this particular from indicates that this is my base image and it is going to pull it from a docker hub. Now I want something to be outputted when the container runs. So I will write cmd as the command and I want to echo something. So I'll just write echo and I'll say welcome. Hi. So this is my docker file and once you write your docker file just save this file. So we have completed our step one of writing the docker file. Let's follow the step two that is let us create our first docker image. So in order to do that we need to run a command. So that command is docker build dot and will provide a tag and I'll give a name to my image so it will be mega image and let me give it a tag as one so as soon as we enter this command this command is going to execute the steps that are written in our docker file so first it will pull the nginx image and that too from the docker hub as soon as it pulls the image the second command is executed so your image has been created. Now we have created a docker image from our docker file. Let us run the container. So in order to do that we need to run the command as docker run. What is your image name? So my image name is mega image colon one. So this will run the container and it the output of this command will be in your command line will be exactly this that is welcome hi so now we got an idea how we can create a doc how we can write a docker file from docker file we can create a docker image and then containerize it you can run this entire command in any of the visual studio code like you can use visual studio code to run this command Thank you for watching.